Google Calendar is a calendar that uses layers. Picture a paper calendar on the wall. If you had different transparent layers, one of them might be the all school events and one layer, a transparent layer might be your classes and another transparent layer might be your personal items, your appointments. Well, that's how Google Calendar works. Over here on the left, this is my list of calendars. The Ann McCormick calendar, that's my basic calendar. It's my default. It's available to everybody in the sgmschool.org uh, domain if they want to look at it. I never put anything on it. But here's the computer lab sign up. This calendar lists any time the computer lab is going to be in use. Then here's the iPad's primary calendar, uh, a lesson plan calendar, meetings. If I want to reduce the amount of stuff here, I can take something off, like maybe my assignments from my photo class. All I have to do to get rid of those from my view is click so that that is blank. Now I still have those events, I just don't see them. If I want to put them back, I can. With one click, once the color is back, it's now going to show those events. If, for instance, I wanted to see only certain events, I could tell it display only this calendar. It will automatically turn off all the events except for the ones that I've listed here in my middle school classes, which there doesn't seem to be any. I have to fix that. Okay, uh, to turn my calendars back on with one click, I just I bring back the color and that turns them back on. And that's just one click. I also have my task. This is my to-do list. That brings up my to-do list over on the right. And if any of those items on the to-do list has a date, that date will be displayed right on the calendar. If I don't want to see those tasks, and I want to have a little more room for my calendar, I can just hit that X.